Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a 36 week pregnancy update. All right guys, if I'm out of breath at any point of this video, especially right now, just know it's because I had to run up and down the stairs a couple times to get my tripod to look for it and I'm very pregnant. So I might be a little short of breath. So I am 36 weeks pregnant. Um, I think that's right at nine months. Um, and then next week will be full term. So I'm pretty sure 37 weeks is full term or at my hospital it's considered full term. Okay, I am back. My camera or my battery was dying and I had to charge it. I have my water this time. I'm probably going to be out of breath, like I said, for most of this, but. So update on like medical stuff. I did talk to a couple of my midwives. I see a different midwife pretty much every time I go to the doctor, but it's been consistently like the same four people and lately it's been like consistently the same two. So I asked them about the baby measuring big and basically what they told me is that they think she's going to come early based off of her size and how I'm measuring and like where she is in there. Um, they think she's going to come early. If she doesn't come before 39 weeks, we can talk about an induction. Um, if I don't want to be induced or if I do want to be induced, um, that's all up to me. And, uh, the thing that with the C-section, um, so basically they're going to basically let me try to do a vaginal delivery, which is what, um, I would prefer to do, but, um, uh, with her head measuring so big, um, if she gets stuck or like I'm pushing for a really long time and nothing's happening, um, a C-section is something that might have to happen. So that's kind of where that's at. I know a lot of people were sending me questions asking, but I got some clarification on that this week. So that's something I also had my 36 week growth scan, which, um, so it was down radiology and, uh, ultrasound tech can't tell me anything I just go in lay down and they tried to measure her but she's so stinking low that they could hardly measure her and my bladder was full so she was like okay go to use the restroom and come back but even then the measurements she said could be anywhere from two weeks ahead to two weeks behind off um so it's kind of hard to tell um they did say she's really low in my hips and pelvis they couldn't even get a good profile shot of her because of that um but based off of what nick and i saw them measuring her head she's got a huge freaking noggin and she's like in the 95th percentile for heads of babies that are 40 weeks old which is you give birth at 40 weeks like so I don't know exactly what that means, but I know that I've been feeling it. Um, so basically the past week I've been having intense like pelvic pain, I guess, um, hip pain. Um, I'm sore all the time getting up and down. It's like this really sore, like it's almost like it's tearing apart down there. Like my hips are like the bones are like coming apart, which I know is a thing. It's like SPD something. I don't know what it stands for, but I feel like that, like my bones are coming apart and it's really, it hurts a lot to get up and down. It hurts a lot to just like do anything. Um, I basically have to roll out of bed because my stomach is so big. Nick has to help me up into our bed because we have a really tall platform bed. Unless I take like a sleeping pill or something, I'm really not sleeping that well just because I wake up in my stomach. It's like if I, I, you have to lay on your side. So if I lay on one side, it's like she goes to that side. That side starts to hurt really bad. So I have to switch to the other side and I'm a back sleeper. So I wake up on my back. But when I do that, I wake up and I'm like, <gasps> because you're not technically supposed to sleep on your back. And I feel like I'm like, I can't breathe. And my heart like does this weird thing. Um, 
I feel like I'm getting swollen. Um, my face feels more swollen to me. I don't know if it's because I'm not sleeping and like I have bags under my eyes. But I also feel like my lips and my nose are kind of swollen. Um, my fingers have been getting swollen. They're not that swollen right now. But if I'm walking for very long, they get really swollen. Um, my feet hurt after walking for too long or being up for too long. It's just a lot. Um, so I've gained about 40 pounds this pregnancy and um, because I was a little bit underweight before the pregnancy, they said that's okay. You can gain anywhere from like 35 to 45 pounds. Um, I'm probably gonna be on the upper end of that. Um, plus I'm carrying like a huge baby and a lot of the weight is her, my placenta, like just that kind of stuff too. So it's not like I, you know, gained 40 pounds of like fat or whatever. Um, I had some questions on my last update that I'm gonna answer. Um, because there was some good ones. Okay, somebody asked if I had any stretch marks and I don't right now. I know that they can come later, but I do have, um, before I got pregnant, when I was like, 18 I got a belly button piercing and the place where the hole was on the piercing it is really stretched and it looks weird I'll try to show you guys So right here, it's just like Stretched um, and it looks a little not good um, And I'm pretty sure I got my first my first stretch mark like beside where the hole was for the belly ring so that kind of sucks, but what I've been doing is using Palmer's body oil, Palmer's cocoa butter body oil and massage lotion. Um, I've been using that consistently since I was like really not even that pregnant yet, like 12 weeks I started using it. And I use it twice a day now and I put it in a bath if I take a bath, um, the oil. And I just like try to keep my stomach moisturized and covered so that it stays moisturized. Um, I know a lot of it has to do with genetics as well. So even using oil doesn't mean that it's like gonna prevent them, but I've just been lucky so far. So something else, um, I don't know if I've talked about this very much in my other updates, but I've been having Braxton Hicks since really early on. A lot of people don't get them till later. I started getting them super early. Um, I would say around the 20 week mark, a little bit before the 20 week mark, I was experiencing Braxton Hicks kind of sporadically, but now I get them a lot. Um, and when I get them, they've progressively been getting a lot more intense before it's just like a tightening of my stomach. When I tight, when, when I have a Braxton Hick, it, it kind of like tightens in two separate spots and it makes my stomach look literally bizarre. I'll try to insert a picture if I have one. But yeah, I get those, um, but usually if I lay down or use the restroom or just like take it easy, they go away. So um, also I've noticed like laying down in bed um, causes them a little bit more than like sitting up. I don't think I've experienced that much difference. Just like, I feel like my body's kind of getting ready. Um, my body definitely feels different. I feel like maybe she dropped. She's not so much into my ribs and lungs. Even though I still can't breathe, it's, I'm sure she's an extremely long and big baby. And honestly, if I like, once we have her, if she is not over eight pounds, I will be shook because I don't know how people carry bigger babies. Um, and I feel like I've been carrying a huge baby. So if you guys have any questions or anything, definitely leave them in the comments. Um, if I were to predict when she's going to come, today is February 6th. And I would say, I've been saying this entire time, that I think she'll be here February 21st. Um, because that's exactly one year since Nick got back from deployment. And I think it'd be kind of cool. But also, that's my niece's birthday, so I really don't want her to come on that day. Um... So we'll see, <laughs> but I just have a feeling. I don't know why. If she doesn't come on the 21st, good, because I don't want to take my niece's birthday, but it's a year since it came back and that would just be like full circle. <laughs> so, um, and then if I want to predict some things about my baby, um, I predict that she'll have really dark hair like me. Um, 
I'll be kind of sad honestly if she doesn't <laughs> and I think she'll have brown eyes um I think she'll weigh depends on when I have her but I think she's gonna be over nine pounds I'll say nine nine one I think that she's gonna come in the middle of the night after like a 16 hour labor so we'll see if that's right as well I had some people ask me also uh, like how we're gonna deal with like the dogs and bringing her home and like the cats and stuff we got it under control it's super touchy for me so like if people are like talking about it I just like shut that down um my dogs are gonna be fine we discipline them if they need to be disciplined so they'll know how to act around her and she'll be fine she's gonna be great she's gonna love her dogs and the cats and stuff like I think they're gonna be afraid of her to be honest because they're super skittish anyways um, but if they're not they you can teach cats cats are teachable as well so that's all I have for this video if you guys enjoyed it oh I gotta do a bump update so I'll show you my bump Alright guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye.